Okay, so the last video cut off. I ran out of space on my phone. So I'm just going to pick up where I left off with this one. I did finish this one. Um, but here we are. I have the two loops. And then I'm just going to keep stacking up these loops. And wrapping my wire around as tight as possible. And for this bow, I started a new one, and I actually did five um, ribbons. So it's going to be a little bit more full, too. And then, just a couple more loops. Squeeze as many on there as you can. And I'm pulling this really tight. These ribbons tend to want to turn over and go toward the back side. Okay, one last loop in there. Just tight as I can get. I do a few extra twists on this last one. Hold on tight to it. Flip it over. Try and move some of those a little bit more back to the front. Okay. Pull as tight as you can because if you don't have it really tight, then um, your loops are going to slip around. And then this doesn't have to be fancy or anything, but you just want to go back through um, and tie a knot. Sometimes this part is hard to get the wire under there. Come on. There we go. Okay, and then I'm just going to loop back through here to as tight a knot as I possibly can. You can do a couple knots if you want to. Um, I usually do, but for now, I'm just going to cut it, cut off the excess. Then, then you just flip it back over, and this is where you start fluffing out all of the loops. And you just kind of want to do them in different places so that they're going different directions and you don't have all one color on one side. And you can kind of twist them and just make them as full as you can. Um, this is where you can go back and add a little bit more character to it by um, chopping up some of the some of the ribbons, and it makes it have a lot more character. Um, so and I'll just go through like this and just pick a few so that it's got a mix of pokey ribbons and a mix of loops. You don't want to do too many or, or you'll lose all that fullness. It's easy to get addicted to going through and doing that. Um, and then I'll even go through, let me do one more, and see how on the ends of my ribbon I've just kind of cut out the little teeth mark hooks. Um, I'll just kind of go through and do that to these ones that I, that I just snipped because that gives it a little bit more character as well. And then um, another thing you can do is with your ribbon, you can have um, layered ribbon like I do, or you can also add in tulle or like the fuzzy feather boa stuff. Um, I've done both of those before. Um, but yeah, just as much as you want to poof it out, 